This is when you know you're in Montana. Right here. <laughs> Pretty much says it all. Don't trespass or you might be in trouble. Another day fly fishing Montana. It just doesn't get any better than this. I'm going down to my secret spot in the lower Clark Fork. You can hear the roads pretty tight as I'm driving in here. This is one of my favorite places to fish in the lower Clark Fork. I'm really hoping to get into some brown trout, some cutthroat, some rainbows, and just really enjoy fishing today uh, in Montana. Can't wait, thanks for joining me. All right, let's go do this, fish on. Well, this isn't exciting at all. Oh man, I cannot wait to get out there and fish. So, what am I using today? Today, I have two rods with me. I've got my five weight, and I've got that set up with a pretty big streamer. Browns are kind of stacking up on some of the Clark Fork tributaries. So I wanted something that might attract a brown. So I've got this particular stimulator, which has uh, worked really well in the past for brown trout, especially over on Rock Creek. The other rod, I've got a great big hopper, hopper dropper. And the dropper is a stone fly. It's a TJ hooker is the actual fly, but it's a it's stone fly imitation. So I hope to run that through kind of the slow water up above the, uh, the primary hole. So those are the two things I'm using today. All right, let's go catch a fish. I'm good with the brown. I'm good with the rainbow, cutthroat. I'm just good with being here fishing in Montana. All right, guys. Let's go do this fish on. Oh, the anticipation of the first cast. I think we're ready to go. Drop it right off this edge to start off with here. There we go, fish on. Or stick. <laughs> stick on. <laughs> Oh, gotta love the stick fish. Ugh, got my heart going. Fish on right here. I literally was dangling my fly in the water. <laughs> well, you know what? Sometimes it's uh, better to be lucky than good. Oh, fish off. Well, at least I first uh, felt the first tug of the day, and it sounds like it seems like I got the right fly. Let's catch another one, maybe on purpose this time. There we go. Ooh, that's a good fish, like a really good fish. Come on, stay on, baby. Stay on. Oh, he's got a big, big head shake. That is a big fish. Come on, buddy, stay on. Got light tippet, only using 4X. But this guy is a pig. Looks like a big, big cutthroat. Oh, ho, ho, ho. heart is pounding. Think about these cutthroat, they just have a tendency to twist and twist and twist and get you all screwed up. I gotta tighten my drag here. When they fight, you know, initially especially, they just start rolling and just has a tendency to get themselves wrapped up, put just enough slack on the, on the hook and they spit it. Oh, this is a big fish. Oh, oh, he's just a puller. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Beautiful fish. Oh. You're done. Come on. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh my God. Look at that beautiful cutthroat. Holy smokes. Oh, oh, I got him right in the nose. He wasn't going to be going anywhere. <laughs> Come on, I just want to show you. Show you off to the world, and then I'll let you go. Look at this tank of a fish. Oh, man. 
Oh. Oh, oh. That was a nice Montana cutthroat. Wow. Let's do it again. Fish on. Oh, I'd love to repeat that. And you may have noticed I was walking the fly. Actually, I walked the fly in reverse because I shot over this. It's really nice looking water right here. And I shot over it on my first cast, as you saw in the video. And then I thought, huh, I'm not following my own advice. I didn't walk the fly out. So fortunately, the water's the clarity isn't super clear. So my line didn't scare him initially because my line went right over him. And I did a short cast and sure enough, there he was. So there's more evidence again, fly fishing tip. Walk your fly out because a lot of times the fish are right there. I mean, he was no more than 30 feet in front of me. And initially I wanted to go right out to the seam, right? I wanted to cast my line way out there because that's where the best looking water looks or is. So don't get impatient like I was. Walk the fly out, fish the water closest to you as well because you'll find a lot of times there are big fish in there just waiting for you. Lunch time. Peanut butter and jelly. Nothing better when fly fishing is to have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. My favorite is Justin's peanut butter. Because it's real peanut butter and doesn't need to be refrigerated. And raspberry jam, the good kind from the farm. Yum. Not bad fishing so far. Caught a couple beautiful cutthroat. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll be able to get into a couple more before it's time to go. See you out there in a minute. There we go, fish on, he was chasing it. Oh no, fish off. Oh, felt him whacking it. Oh, do I not have a hook? No, I've, I've got a hook. There we go, fish on. Oh. Nice. Try to get him on the reel. Another big, nice cut. These things are strong. Beautiful fish. Not quite ready yet. Strong fish. Come on, buddy, you're done. Come on. Come on. You're done. You're done. Oh, yes. Wow. Another beautiful fish. Holy smokes. Wow. The size of this guy. Oh. Quality fish. Holy. Holy smokes. Wow. Hey guys, thanks for joining me on another fly fishing adventure. Weather's starting to change. There's a big cold front coming in. Wind's picked up. It's getting kind of chilly. Fishing slowed down a little bit, but you know, can't complain. I think I landed, what, three quality cutthroat? Nothing to complain about there. 
anyway so thanks for joining me and hey do me a favor hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next one all right fish on <laughs>